Uh, so what would you like to talk about in this fine episode starring you? Oh, I don't... Oh. <laughs> you tell me. Okay. I, I've got all the things to, we could talk about. So... All the things that my lawyer says don't talk about. <laughs> you know. You know. He's like, Rachel, literally every weekend, stop saying shit on stage. I'm loading the meat. 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 I don't even know what it means, what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Welcome to Unloading Meat Season 3, the only podcast that knows you don't want to fall on the apron of the ring because that's the hardest part of the fucking ring. They always tell you that, the announcers do. It's like they forget every match. <laughs> Either that or they think we're fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> anyway, my guest today is a hilarious comedian that I once, I first saw at Go Theater and she recently just did a hosting job there, right? I did. Awesome. Yeah. Please welcome the one, the only, Rachel Keeley. Woo! Welcome, Rachel. Thank you for having me. No problem. It's not like we haven't been talking for like an hour off camera. I know, you know I know. Hush, hush, secret shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those guys. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I have a soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do my own. I do my own voice. <laughs> I do mine too. That's where it music. started. You got me amped up now, okay? I'm mm. like, the, the, the marijuana's kicked in. Perfect. I haven't taken my antidepressant. Excellent. I'm going to wait for last for the episode. Woo! And then, huh. And Daddy's then gonna it's on. It. Yeah. Daddy's going to start watching Gilmore yeah, Girls. My... <laughs> 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 yeah. You laugh, but I, yeah, we don't talk but about the that... Netflix season. We don't talk about that other season. I'm going to go home and watch Grey's Anatomy. Ooh. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you so got to fap to something. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> McDreamy. Oh. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Course banquet. Yeah, it's gonna it, take it would, me all the way. It would help if Catherine Heigl wasn't such a cunt. Like, I know she's like, the worst. Like just outside of it, you I just, just have to work around. I her. know he's coming around the corner. I've just never forgiven her from the knocked up situation. Oh, you didn't like her then? Well, I liked her in that movie. I loved her in that movie. I didn't like how she treated the cast and Judd Apatow. Oh, how she felt like she was like taking advantage, or she didn't like the scene where they had the birthing. Yes, and I'm like they're trying to show the actual like a realistic like the crowning. The, the, oh the, yeah, yeah. She didn't like that part of it. Well, and it's like but. That That's part, part of, of it. it. Yeah, like... <laughs> I mean, this is how birth works. Yeah, and so. she, like, kind of, like, bad mouth like, Seth Rogen and Judd Apatow how around that movie, and they were like, bitch? Like, kind of like, it kind of... Like, why are you doing this? Like, I don't know. I just never was like, eh, she's kind of a bitch. Well, she is. Yeah. But she anyway. likes animals, and I like that about That's her. That's true. Catherine Heigl. Uh, mm. eh, eh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how you been? <laughs> I've been better. <laughs> Our last hour conversation, we've have both been better. Because <laughs> you have the tall boy in your fucking lap on a Sunday. <laughs> you know, yeah. just living my best life. <sighs> uh, it's depression somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. Same thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, I feel that. You think, is that Toby Keith that's saying that? Or who was that? It's at five o'clock somewhere. I don't know. Uh, Alan uh, Jackson. Right? No. No. Uh, sh- hey, <laughs> Google, who's saying five o'clock somewhere? Margaritaville. Uh, Jimmy Buffett. Buffett. Oh, she just answered, but I don't think it was the right answer. Yeah. It wasn't the right Too answer. Too late, Google, you're a bitch. Yeah, we got to figure it out. Thank you, Siri. That is the most depressing thing <sighs> ever. She's the Be- fucking worst. Like, I have a smart home, you know, because I'm yeah. it's 2024. I'm not retarded. Um, <laughs> but, like, occasionally one of the devices just shuts off randomly. Oh. And so, like, I'll come home and I'll be like, you know, so-and-so Google, I'm home. And I'm expecting, you know, to be turn my lights on, set my thermostat up, and yeah. everything's going to be hunky-dory. And she doesn't respond. Occasionally, one will just deactivate. And what happens with Google is they have to tell you three fucking times that something's not responding. And they do it in that depressing, monotone voice. I don't like it. So I go home. I'm like, so-and-so, Google, I'm home. And she goes, <laughs> Jared's bedroom is not available. <laughs> And Isn't I'm like, your bedroom? yeah, because the furthest away. You're like, thanks, yeah. thanks for letting and me like, know that. Suddenly, again. I'm like, I'm like transported into that scene from Goodwill Hunting, where like Rob Williams <laughs> like, it's not your fault, and he's like, so it's like Jared's bedroom is not available. I'm like, I know Google, Jared's bedroom is not available. <laughs> I wasn't gonna cry today, but fuck I you. I fucking know Google. I know, I know. Stop it. And it's like Jared's bedroom is not available. <laughs> fuck you, Google. Pull up Pornhub porn right now. Just put the. Put your I'm finger about to in hate fuck hole. you. <laughs> I'm about to hate fuck my Google search. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Unloading Meat. <laughs> what is this one? What is yeah. Oh. <laughs> As the world turns, what's next? I have it all themed out for this. I love it. Uh, so how long have you been in the business? Uh, what do we call comedy and stand up and making people chuckle? 
At least nine years. At least nine yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I started out pregnant. Nice. And uh, that's probably why my as son one is, is to just do. as funny as, I mean, he's he was just. You're funny as shit. Thanks. Yeah. He just, he just encompassed it all. Yeah. He you didn't know? take it all from you. It, it wasn't like just, it wasn't him just in you. Right. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> I got funnier. <laughs> but he's a lot funnier than I am. He's. He's pretty smart and witty for his age. Do you, do you guys have like a psychotic, like a psychic re- link with comedy or something like that? Or you like just have a good like? Well, he was just in there while I was doing comedy and I didn't know it. I didn't know I was pregnant for six months. And so. Just the writer's room. Just the writer's <laughs> room. Just taking it all in. Yeah. Like a. <laughs> Virgin? I don't know. Right. Well, technically, yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for putting it right on the show. You fucking mark. <laughs> So I started there. <laughs> so uh, I just caught up. We saw each other at what was it? The uh, the best of Tulsa. I think we saw each the other. Funniest the funniest comic. Funniest comic. Yeah. yeah. That we still haven't seen our footage from. Oh, but you saw me clap at him. Yeah. Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Anyway, it's coming, guys. It's coming, guys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. You've yeah, been saying that for six months. Yeah. I know I'll be coming. Yeah. All of our fucking material Sean's to green somebody room. else. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. Prove it, Sean. Anything, we want to see our fucking videos. Anything that's led primarily by a Facebook private chat room. Uh, Which, I mean, I have hi. a couch for it. We clearly know red flags when we see them. Yeah. But um, you that came was here the like this one. isn't a black leather couch. It's not a casting couch. <laughs> that's in the other room. <laughs> There's a reason Looney Bin had to redecorate. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Former management Harvey Weinstein. No, uh, yeah, or the Epstein. Yeah, the Epstein twins. Well, that's my that. Uh, I don't know if you know this. Like, so that's my homage to Harvey Weinstein a little bit. Like, not that <laughs> I no, plan? no, not that I'm like proud of him. I think he's a piece of shit. You're thriving. Yeah, You're thriving. Well, um, you know about the the plants with Harvey Weinstein, right? No. Harvey Weinstein allegedly, whenever he was cornering the women, like you know, making them do that stuff, uh-huh. he would come in the fake plants in the corner. Ew. Yeah, like that was just the thing he did. He cummed on the fake plants in the corner. Well, it looks really good. It's, it's thriving. <laughs> yeah. Is there something to that? I mean, <laughs> the, the, the plant got its red wings. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what? I was just saying it was a pilot. What you... <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. It's always there. Flow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fucking flow. Fucking uh, flow. Uh, progressive. <laughs> Fucking prof- progressives. Uh, so, what would you like to talk about on this fine episode starring you? Oh, I don't. Oh. <laughs> You tell me. Okay. I, I've got all the things to, we could talk about. So. All the things that my lawyer says don't talk about. <laughs> you know. You know. He's like, Rachel, literally every weekend, stop saying shit on stage. Last week when I was a go, <sighs> I did that. You, I did too. And that's probably why we're kindred souls. <laughs> yeah. We were like, I feel like we should be friends. I didn't give anybody the option. I just went for it. I just And everybody that. was like, is that for real? Gene was like, well, are you serious? And I was like, <laughs> Yeah. Welcome back to Unloading Meat, where we're not talking about exes. <laughs> at all. Wait, not at all. I love this song. I know, me too. <laughs> Have you ever seen the sexy sax man with a mullet that uh, goes to like, food courts and does this on a saxophone? He just goes to these places. Oh, my God. Where is he? Because we... we Can we have him in Tulsa? I know, right? Like, I want this so bad to happen. <laughs> Look, nobody... Nobody cares. Literally is... I feel like we could give him a better. The laundromat. A better. He's on a cart. In and out. Drive through. He's not getting the representation that he requires. This was my he... favorite one. The food court, the mall. <laughs> oh my god. Look at him. He's like. So there's a saxophone player. Anyway. <laughs> it's that <set> security. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to finish. Just let him finish. Look, the crowd's loving it. <laughs> you got to get the fuck out, though. What do you got against George Michael? <laughs> I keep trying. Hey, play that George Michael song real quick. <laughs> Oh my god. His like friend Walmart. is like dying. Is that a Ross? Oh. It is. 
She had to get a closer look. She was like, I just don't think that I am seeing this right. You know, give it a year and, you know, Trump says he can shoot that guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Close enough to a shoplifter. <laughs> <laughs> Take him out. <laughs> fucking school. But, but don't, because he might vote for me. We just, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, It's still so, up in the air. So this part right here, we need to like John Madden this. This part right here <laughs> is not Trump's demographic. But this part right here, that part. the mullet, clearly Trump's demographic. And the Oakleys. Perfect. The Oakleys Perfect. on the front. Yeah. He looks like he's a state trooper that got let go. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's mad about it. <laughs> he, he's never going to beat a black guy again. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Never. <laughs> She's going to sing a sad song for the rest of eternity. <laughs> this tombstone, the best damn saxophonist we ever knew. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was a son of a... <laughs> but he could play the goddamn sax. Yeah. Oh, tilt it up a little bit. Oh. Uh, rope, just rope it. Oh. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Gotta hear that deep, sexy voice, that, that podcast voice. Oh, <laughs> uh, the magic <of> editing. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> he just said I had a sexy voice. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be careful with my like booking. So like I try to like make sure that like when I I I, I book, I want to have a you know a good selection of comments. I don't want just like five white dudes in a row. Yeah. You know, that's mostly op every open mic I mean, that's... Tulsa. Yeah. But I also want to diversify. I want to yeah. make sure I show everybody here I on the show. I appreciate that. Um, and I have Rachel Rose coming in. I don't know if you know Rachel Rose. I do. I mean, I don't know her, know uh, her, but I saw her at the Funniest Comic. Yeah. So she's, she's, she's hilarious. She's amazing, yeah. Um, she'll be at the Rose Battle. She's one of the Awesome, yes. And uh, she was supposed to be here last Tuesday when we had to reschedule. And... Uh, she was supposed to be the second episode of the week of the 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 season. Yeah. Well, I released on Wednesdays, so that would have put her coming out on February fourteenth. Oh. So I was like, "Hey, we could do like a Valentine's Day yes. and stuff." And then I started thinking, I don't want to put thumbnails together and have a whole Valentine's Day like love set for a woman that's already dating another dude. And I'm like, that's gonna be the wrong impression. <laughs> I'm like, Is that's it? not the wrong. I was like, I don't want to be like that. I was like, no. So like. Then she had to reschedule. I was like, okay. And then Scotty Lee was like, hey, I'll call up. I was like, okay, we're doing Valentine's today with you. Perfect. How was that? <laughs> Good. He just brought some sunglasses, some little heart no, sunglasses. How cute. We completely forgot it was Valentine's Day. Naturally. That's the thing about like filming it's... in advance is you forget what it is. <laughs> what it is, what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I film my holiday episodes like the beginning of December and I'm like, I forgot it was already like. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm always like, it's Tuesday. Why is everybody getting all the things? Yeah. The only, the only way I know that fucking holidays are over is when I can go to the clearance aisle and fucking get the candy half price the next day. Yes. Yeah. My go to, favorite. Go to Walgreens and rate it. Rate it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if there's anything left, hell, I went there the other day and there's their Valentine stuff is gone. Really? Yeah. My local Walgreens had some good Christmas stuff still left over. Like, also, like, my kids are kind of in that age where, like, they like Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. And that's that Same, one thing yeah. where they it's always available. Like, stores figured it out, like, 10 years ago. They're like... Hey, if we stock load a shitload of stuff at Halloween, we can kind of <laughs> use the same stuff at Christmas. And Valentine's. Like, and Valentine's. Yeah. Like, this one theme goes throughout the whole thing. And then they're starting to catch on with Hocus Pocus, too. Yes. Same thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, and so it's like they can just use the same kind of shit throughout the whole thing to slightly tweak it. And I'm <laughs> like, yep. And so like you just catch it on sale, and you're like, well, this Halloween decoration could technically be a Nightmare Before Christmas. Because we had a Nightmare Before Christmas tree once. Oh, yeah. So I decorated the whole thing, and I put, oh, a, I put awesome. a big jack head as the top, and I, put a, star. I made a whole big bow. For his like neck Cute. bow, and it went down the entire tree. Love it, and just had fun with it. I love themes and stuff like that. Obviously, same, same. I just like going ham on it. I know. I love. I love a theme. I yeah. love a really good theme. It pulls. It really ties the room together. It does. Like just like the rug and Big Lebowski. Yes. Yeah. 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 I say like I have my cardigans now. I kind of look like the dude a little bit. <laughs> I love the dude. But I'm like fat, so I'm like the food. The like food. <laughs> you just need a white Russian. That's all. I know. That's racist. Um, but Black delicious. Russian. Russian doll? Mexican I don't know. Russian, Russian doll? Wasn't that, that that's Natasha Leggero Leger, 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 or whatever? The one bitch from American Pie that has a deep voice? Oh, I don't know her that name. She talks like this. <laughs> I don't know. She talks like she's been smoking cigarettes like, for her whole life. Uh, you people make my ass twitch. Yeah, yeah. Natasha Leggero. I think, oh, Leggero. Yes. No, Natasha yeah. Leggero's a comedian. I think Natasha, she Shit. was also in Orange is the New Black. Google it. Yeah. I love Alexa. She's Hey not... Google, who played in Russian Doll? Oh, 
Natasha yeah. Leone. Yeah. There it is. Natasha Leone. Yeah. Yep. She talks like Patty and I Selma from her. Simpsons. God, she does. <laughs> I do love her. She's really good. Uh, yeah. Now we're just on a Natasha Leone rant. That's okay. Know. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it too. That's going to be our title Natasha Leone and. Question mark? And question mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's going, what the fuck? <laughs> I hope she does. That'll be our sound bite. <laughs> no, the wrong one. <laughs> oh, or that. Natasha, I don't want to fuck you. Well, I mean, I do, but anyway, yeah, yeah, maybe. I but mean, I mean, if you want to. Maybe I can fix your voice. I don't know. Maybe I'm medicinal. Just I don't, don't know. speak. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn into a No Doubt song. <laughs> don't speak. No, what I'm saying. I'm being slightly off tune so I don't get copyright struck. What? Don't tell me because it hurts. hurts. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Yeah, we can keep doing this. We can too. That, that's why I love Go Theater because they have karaoke afterwards. I do too. Oh, it's so much fun. I know. It's so much uh, fun. Shout out Go Theater, Gene. You guys are awesome. Uh, every Thursday night they have the Go uh, Open Mic. Yep. Jack of all mics. Open Jack Mic and karaoke afterwards. It's awesome. Uh, I told Gene back before when they 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 temporarily took it down for a little bit. I was like, man, it was such a great thing because sometimes at Cellar uh, on Sundays. There's another place called the First Shop. I'm sure you forget yeah. what the First Shop is. And sometimes they do uh, karaoke. So there was sometimes oh. where we would do cellar yeah. open mic and then go down to the first shop and do karaoke afterwards. And it was a great way to unwind because I'm sure you know when you're doing comedy, you're kind of amped. Yeah. Yes. And you're like, what can I do with this energy afterwards? I thought five minutes is not enough. No. So like karaoke is a great way to just kind of just drink a beer just and unwind and have a good time. Out. Yeah. And plus, I love to sing. I can sing like a motherfucker. I love to sing. I don't know if anybody else loves me <laughs> to sing. But I do love it. That's I have, what I did last night. I was like, I'm going to get drunk and I'm going to listen to YouTube. Ooh. And I'm going to sing my ass off. What'd you sing? Mm, Dead Poet Society. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah? Girl. Girl. You Falling in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one do? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one for falling in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That was fucking crisis. So, like, I can see the color of the button, but I don't know what they actually do. Like, I, I put them on there, but they're not labeled. So, like, I have eight buttons, and one of them was just like... D the good one? <laughs> It'll keep going. I was trying to do it. Sounds right. It feels right. <laughs> oh, welcome to Unloading Meat. Thank you. Uh... No, but yeah, karaoke is a great way to unwind afterwards. Uh, Z gets into it too. I know. Oh my god, when, when he, he started sings, singing Adele. Oh, I was just about to say that. I'm like, <laughs> he's my bro. He's my bro. That is my favorite song. Oh, I love you, Z. Z is uh, the closest. I thought I'm not comparing. I'm putting, like lumping, but like uh, I'm sure you met Trash. Yes. Trash is very unorthodox comedian. He's yes. a very alternative comedian. Correct. Uh, Z's following that trait kind of too. He has a very alternative take on. Yeah, but he's things. very structured. Yeah. He, he, well, that's just the autism. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to be structured when you're on a spectrum. Well, that's you're true. locked in. I mean, you are. That's true. <laughs> just like my sexuality. Which but is are a, you? No, it's yeah. a spectrum. Oh, on the spectrum, not yeah. lo not locked in. Yeah, it's just whoever's yeah. twice right. <laughs> God, he's and he's saying on Thursday he's saying turn around. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Turn around. Round. Every, Every now, now and, and then, then I, I get a. Mm -hmm. I think of uh, the Dan Band from uh, the movie Old School. Do you remember that with Will Ferrell? Yes. And they have the the wedding singer singing that, and it's the guy, and it's like never. Uh, I fucking need you more <laughs> than ever. <laughs> yes, he didn't sing it like that. Yeah. yeah, but I wish he did. I wish he did too. Uh, my favorite song I've sang there. Well. One, I sang tequila just because I was. I wanted to see if the DJ actually knew what it was because they were really and young. Did they? Yeah, they were like kind of insulted. They're like, "We know what tequila is." I was like, "Well, you're not I'm old like, enough you're to drink like it." Twelve, so <laughs> who can say? The 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 worst faux pas I ever did at Go was so they have two different female DJs. They right. have two different Liz and Liz and uh, DJ. I don't remember what her name, but like she put the one up a that sign, looks like Liz. Looks like yeah, they're both around <laughs> the same age. They're both yeah. friends and stuff yeah. like that. So like uh, she put up a sign that said DJ. Uh, was it? RBC, resting bitch face. Oh, that's R right. RBF. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, RBF. And so I mistaken the next week. I thought it was the same person. I was like, hey, what's up, DJ, resting bitch RBF. face or something? I was like, and she's like, that's not me. I was like, oh, shit, I just called her a bitch. I'm not saying you're a bitch, but like, well, now you kind of have to. Are you okay with it? Because that's what's happening. Yeah. I just saw RBF and I was like, man, roast beef sandwich sounds delicious. <laughs> RBF right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> they got those fried mac and cheese bites. Mmm, mm, girl. Potato cake. Oh, mm. bro. Yeah. Now you're just making me hungry. Seriously, I know. I just had my stupid cliff bar. Ew. <laughs> I, I always try to bet on myself and just, you know, try to set my expectations low so I'm never disappointed. Same. <laughs> same. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> also same. That's the best rule I ever learned from Dodgeball. <laughs> they didn't want you to learn that lesson from Dodgeball. No. But when Vince but Vaughn was happened. like, when Vince Vaughn spilled that out, I was just like, oh, oh it all clicks now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let me take notes. Boom. You're saying set expectations is very low. How low? Like, gutter. Okay. Then I'm Everything never disappointed. Everything is gravy. It's after true. that true yeah. yeah oh yeah i just made some gravy for breakfast it was great it was delicious i love gravy oh me too uh that's why i'm by um <laughs> gravy both ways yeah <laughs> two-way gravy well i say that i'm a faggot timeshare <laughs> is it a membership well it's we have to go to the 90 it, minute it's a pain in the ass to get out of it sometimes <laughs> Uh, available on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> See, we have We're sponsoring. Here. We're sponsoring all the things. I wish Grinder would sponsor me on this show. Like, <laughs> fuck, I hop on Grinder once and I see a fucking ad for Raid Shadow Legends. I'm like, even here? Are you kidding? Like, are faggots not safe? Like, I switch sides and nope, still nope, not safe from it. Still not. Nothing safe nowhere. Because no matter what what size you suck, they're like there's versions <laughs> on both sides. We're gonna get you from each end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get those microtransactions <laughs> before you get an STD. <laughs> the microtransactions of pregnancy. <laughs> They'll just turn an STD into something that sounds great. Yeah, like, it's a like, feature. I got an STD. <laughs> it's a feature. <laughs> I'm not a bug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've had a great time. This I have too. <laughs> glad you. I'm glad you reached out. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy you're here. Like this is gonna be a turn out to be a fantastic episode. I think I it's think. gonna be a good friendship. The energy. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to meet you. Pleasure nice to meet you. you. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a great friendship. I uh, think so too. I think so too. Because like I, like I said, I love energy. I love people that are actually putting in the work. And like I talked to you off camera, like you know. There's some people that have been in the scene for like years, and I'm like, what have you done with it? And then like I talked to like Zach, Amen, and certain people like like are really fucking funny. You've been here for nine years. You're funny as shit. Thank you. And it shows. Sometimes. And you're also not a like not an asshole. Thank you. I appreciate that too. Like, Please tell all the people. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, like, my divorce settlement just went out, and they're gonna think differently. <laughs> oh, Do <laughs> you have that one? Uh, I'm just close enough. We'll just we'll just call it yeah with yeah. this. <laughs> I mean, I can put, I can put, I, I was, I was scared to put some Billie Eilish on there and get copyright struck. Can we? Uh, Billy. I mean, if I want a Billie Eilish, I'll just get her more successful brother. Well, <laughs> Phineas does all the work. I'm sure she he does. just whispers. She do. <laughs> like she try when she tries, she has a great voice. But like the first five songs were just like the first said, album was. This is ASMR with a fat beat that used to be fucking Skrillex. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it's like I it's love like, it's like. Depressing uh, dubstep. <laughs> Depressed step. Except for I'm like, yes. You want to you want to mind jam now? Like my latest. Besides, like I showed you Axe and Bron Bronson beforehand. Yes. Um. What, who now? I'm gonna follow. Dude, follow yeah. him. He's I. If I highly recommend Axe and Bronson. It's just like a, dude. That guy's such a like inspiration. He's such a cool dude. Yes. And he's so nice. He's so giving. And I just want to be like that. I want to be like that big dude that just goes into the town. And it's like, hey. You I need wanna... something, here's something. Like, just have some fun. Like, there's homeless people. You'll see his videos where he's, yeah. like, cooking with the people and stuff. And, like, before a show, like, he has a rap show that night, sold out. He'll go to a local, local place and do a pop-up and do, like, a street-side restaurant and give everything to free, Incredible. like, the homeless and everything. It's, like, five-star dining. That's insane. And he's, like, making, like, I Wagyu steak. And he's, like, guys are, like, homeless on the street. He's, like, hey, man, try this. And he gives them a burrito. It's, like, Wagyu steak. Oh, my God. And he just wants to do that kind of stuff. He's just chilling, smoking how weed. How fun would that be? Getting God, drunk. God, could you fun. imagine how fun that would be to just give back and not have to worry yeah. about, like. And I know it's a very privileged thing because he is loaded. He's rich now and stuff like that. But also, like, and I know I'm saying, like, from a place of my privilege, too, like, the white privilege and all that shit. You want to throw up, up on me and I'm a guy on the internet. But what yeah. I'm saying is I kind of love that. That once you kind of see somebody being able to that, that kind of level, that they're still that giving and still that kind of genuine person, you kind of like, well, then why isn't everybody else like that? Well, and if they're, they're not, because they're dicks. And if they, <laughs> well, if I've seen this way, I kind of want to be like that way. Yes. And I want more people like that. So, like, that's, I mean, that's the definition of a definition of inspiration. Like, right. you want to be like that person. Yeah. And so, yeah, like, that's very how I want to be. Just, you know, person of the people and just really person that tries to help. I do too. And, and be funny along the way. You have to be funny. You have to, otherwise you'll be in the corner crying somewhere. Yeah, I've staying. been there too. Yeah. 
<laughs> was, was was sexually aggressive Sting. Have you uh, you yes. know Sting? Have you punched I, him? He makes I... sounds like punch him in the stomach. Showtime. Um, get it on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That ain't happening. I'm so gonna take him home. He's anti-rape. Um, <laughs> oh. Ask for consent, Sting. Um, <laughs> Well, we laugh about that, and I love him on the set because Sting's uh, a boring Christian. He's very PC and, cl- and cl- Christian now. Yeah. And so that's his official toy, and it's like very kind of sexual because he's like, "That ain't happening." Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. 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 Another one. I'm and here for it, though. Yeah. You're like, yeah <laughs> that's all the action I've gotten in a minute. So. <laughs> Girl. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> My borrow. <laughs> Sting Steve over we, we here. Can, we can put a vibration mm. unit in it somewhere. Mm-hmm. We had a, at, at Go on Thursday, Bashira. Yeah, Bashira. Yeah, well, everybody that wasn't sitting in a metal chair that night <laughs> missed out. The bass, <laughs> the bass was hitting. <laughs> and I'm not mad about it. It's like that scene of the My house. ears are hurting and I can't hear anything. But everything else was. But everything great. else is feeling great. Yeah, it was great. It was great. It's like that scene in the Howard Howard Stern movie, Private Parts. Oh, that, yeah. like, that she puts the fucking speaker <laughs> yeah. down. He's like, Just, <laughs> oops, I'm not saying it, that didn't happen. There you go. Hey, it's 2024. You got to double click your mouse. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <Yeah>. Consensually. <laughs> Consensually. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like a good commercial. This episode is not sponsored by HelloFresh because you ain't HelloFresh if you're menopausal swamp romping. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, they're not going to get you to quit smoking. <laughs> no, I oh well, they might. <laughs> yeah. I I had an old pack of cigarettes. I used to be a smoker, and I had an old pack of cigarettes stuffed in one of my old jackets. You know, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try. I, I feel like I deserve one. Yeah. And I went to smoke it. And uh, I don't know how old it was, so obviously it wasn't kept in the freezer. Oh, yeah. And uh, I took a drag, and I Not swear like to God, <laughs> all, right, all of the moisture from my toes all the way up to my soul up here <laughs> just died, and it was gone. <laughs> like, I smoked for just like a year. Like I, like, You can't I, get that moisture back in your body. No, you can't. I was doing what was it, camel Turkish golds. Oh shit! Yeah, I was doing Newports because I thought I was a gangster. Mm. <laughs> I was a classic. I mean, bit. I was. Yeah, I was. I was a highfalutin. You know, I was bougie as shit. You were. But more, I worked at Game Exchange, and I found out that if you wanted a break, everybody went back out the back and smoked. So yes. if you didn't smoke, you were just going to be left. You with didn't no breaks. get a break. Yeah. No, I also probably the same. And so I yeah. started picking it up, and then like three months in, I realized, oh well, they're also smoking weed. So fuck, now I'm addicted to this. Yeah. Like, fuck. Yeah. Like, wrong choice. But now I'm like, I don't like to go out there when it's cold yeah. or hot or muggy. Or I felt like South Park when like, any all of the th- Oklahoma weather changes. Yeah. Yeah. On Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, it's freezing in the win- in the mornings, and then it's fucking seventy in the afternoon. There's I don't like, have enough clothes, or I don't have enough. No wonder you're feeling the menopause effect. Right, right. Like, I'm like, listen to me. I look. I brought 412 sweaters just in case. <laughs> Mine are just internal layers. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a coat in the car. <laughs> I have, I'm a solid state drive. Like, I'm, it's all internal, baby. Mm, yeah. Shoo. <laughs> Shoo. It's going to be like, yeah. it's going to be like Bush Arrow all over, all over again. <laughs> Getting. <laughs> Uh, I've had way too much fun. <laughs> Shoo. Yeah, Swamp Prom's hitting real hard. It's hitting real right right now. Oh. oh. <sighs> so what would you like to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know. My, I don't really have a lot to talk about except for uh, comedy <laughs> and my, my, uh, my divorce. You didn't think so... I was going to ask for a... A thesis on global warming. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see. Do, how, how do you feel about Greta my Thunberg? My brief synopsis for <laughs> global warming is. Blame Taylor Swift? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. she's the problem. I, right. said, I, said, I told that to Z yesterday. Like, he was like, who you mad at? I was like, fucking Swifties. Like, I, I love Taylor Swift. I can respect I got her. got nothing against I her. I think she's a generational talent. I think she's like the Elvis or Beatles. She's very talented and stuff. 
I hate how much fucking power Swifties have to like just basically just go after anybody they want and just, right. like, just destroy like a mob. Right. Like that shit's just that's a mob. Like that's that's kind of scary. Fucking, it's kind of scary. Yeah. And it's like I don't fucking care. <laughs> There's a ton of like twelve to twenty two year olds just out there that could make a change in the world. Yeah. They're just not. Yeah. <laughs> it's so. like whenever I hear a straight comic tell me not to say faggot. Yeah. And it's like really I've it's it, I've had enough pain in the ass to where I think I've earned it. I've earned it. Literally. We've all earned yeah. it. Yeah. 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 That's always a straight comment to say they don't want me to say faggot. It's I always understand. weird. It's, it's fun. Is it make it they're, them uncomfortable? I, I don't guess. understand. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, go, uh, no, I'm not going to even do that. that. <laughs> I'm not even going to do that like metaphor or anything. No, we're just going to leave it there. Okay, yeah. the end. The end. Yeah. <laughs> we already antagonized Swifties. We don't need to get canceled more. <laughs> we're already canceled. So they're like, and you're done. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the only Super Bowl I know is the one I throw up into. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can't wait for the Usher concert this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta let it burn. <laughs> I'm like, what time does the Usher concert start? Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> no, that was the name of the song. Right. Yeah. 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 No, the song was named Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> This is turning to yes and with Jared. And fucking... That one girl. <laughs> no, I set it up for you to do it. You didn't even fill in your own name. <laughs> that one girl that wears yellow all the time. No, I said, this is yes and to set up Jared and, Me. and you didn't even say your name. <laughs> that one girl. That one bitch. Fucking Rachel. Your name is Rachel. How much have you drank? <laughs> we don't know. No. Who can say? Yeah, that's just water in there. <laughs> <laughs> Good to the last drop. Mm, mm-hmm. Of course, banquet. Mm. Brought to you by. Hey, it's a full banquet. It is. Yeah. It comes with its own friends. <laughs> like those banquet dinners you throw in the oven. Oh God. Have a banquet with a banquet. Double banquet. Double banquet. Banquet squared. Yeah. Their brownies are good. Yeah. Everything else is shit. Yeah. Don't try the lasagna. No, no don't. No. It's gross. The Salisbury steak. Mm, the, the enchiladas. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you get for a hungry man? Diabetes. Yes. Yeah. With, <laughs> with all 24,000 sodium. Di- diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was my favorite joke ever. You know JB. Yeah. That was the seller. I said, JB Watkins looks like Wilford Brimley if he got AIDS instead of diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say that? I can see it. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Oh, it's out now. <laughs> I, I roasted him at the cellar with it. That was my roast for him last time I saw him. Did he smile? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. Him and Lacey. You're not wrong. Him and Lacey are one are hosts that I love because like they go they appreciate if you go out of your way to like do something for them because that's a host. Yeah. Like, you know, just write something on the fly. Just do something for them. Yeah. You know, acknowledge the shit that's in the room. Just do that. I yes. mean, crowd work is something, but I mean, it just to, it's just it's kind of easy softballs for Isn't jokes. I, I I'm really trying. It's like, really hard for me be, to not be structured because that's just yeah how I am, and then and that's my job. But yeah, but so I'm. Well, there's like no right way. There's no wrong way. Everybody has their own like whatever you're comfortable for you makes yeah. you funny. Like it's like somebody like telling me like, well, you should really talk about like this and do a joke like this. Well, that's not how I, I not, speak. That's yeah. not how it wouldn't sound natural. Yeah. But, like, for me, like, when I do, like, an open mic or something like that, I'll go with, like, one to two minutes and like, just, like, a bit, like, a yeah. small thing. And then the other, like, three minutes, I'll have, if you see me at a show, I'm just sitting there with my notepad and I'm, like, making observations. And, like, Same. other people doing sets, I'm like, oh, he talked about that? Well, I'm going to pick up on that. Yeah. And then I'm going to do that. And I also ask, like, hey, can you put me towards the end? Because I want to go towards the end. And do all, yeah. Yeah. And so as I go up. Everything that has happened before is just built in rapport with the audience, and they're going to appreciate it because it's almost like a what they call a Chekhov's gun. Yes, where yes. it's there. So if you use it, it's instant rapport, instant satisfaction from the audience because they already know it's there. Absolutely, I've, I've started doing that, and so, it works. Yeah, it does work, and it, it comes off like crowd work. Like, oh, you saw someone in the audience, but you know as well, well as I do. Most of the time with these crowds, you're seeing lights like this. You don't see the actual people. You don't see anybody. You can't see shit. Well, and they don't really respond. No. I mean, not very often. They're like, huh, yeah. Yeah. But if you go up beforehand and have like, okay, that guy in the green jacket, I want to make fun of this. I'm yeah. going to do this, do this, do this. Preston did a joke about this. I'll make fun of him like that. Yeah. Then you go up there and you do it naturally peppered through. People just think that you're crowd working and you're doing it spontaneously, but that's honestly how you do it. Right. And it works. Without being spontaneous. Yeah. yeah. And the crowd thinks you're doing it. And it's a win-win. Because at the end of the day, you're just trying to make them laugh. It's a show. Yeah. 
it doesn't matter how you do it. If you did it well, you're, you're doing done. good. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, I hate people like, like shit on Matt Rife or email like that. They're like, oh, he's not that. He's just a crowd work comic. Yeah, but that's like that. really hard to do. It's really hard to do. Really hard and to like, do. he's successful at it. Yeah. Like, it's all kind of like a tool to have in your tool bag. And it's kind of like, like I watch, you know, reality shows. I watch Ink Master. I love Ink oh, Master. Oh, yeah, I do. And like, there's like every year there's like those competitors that are like, well, I only know black and gray. I don't do color. I don't do realism. But you're in a competition called Ink Master where they're going to judge you on all of them. What did you think was going to happen? Right. The Ink Master is supposed to be able to do all of them. <laughs> a comic shouldn't be able to at least do a little bit of every kind Everything. of thing and be able to roll with the punches. That's yeah. what makes it entertainer, in my opinion. And again, I'm a novice comic. I'm not, I have no leg to stand on. But it's like, just from my personal experience, that's how I feel. Yeah. And it's gotten me so far pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I want to do your rose battle. I mean, uh, I do. Yeah. I, I'm not. That's not my jam. Yeah, on, honestly. Well, I'm. Proud I'm to not say, a like, very. You're gonna mean be a judge. Person. I'm gonna be a judge, but yeah. I'm not a mean person, and I, I would probably lose sleep at like at least seventy two hours. Well, I'm glad sleep. you brought it up because we're gonna cut to the commercial for it right here. And we're back. Because, uh. <laughs> like, this will come out, like, probably, like, right before, right before yeah. um, we shoot it. Because, like, basically, I shoot them, and I'll shoot it in February. It'll come out, like, the end of March. Because it gives me a month buffer to edit it and put it together in post. Because I'm going to make, like, graphics together yeah. for, like, the transitions and stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm going to make a cool thing about it. Make, like, a sports kind of, like, presentation. Yeah. Because, like, that's what I'm good at. I'm a video editor. I can do it really well. And, like the best thing like, I, I'm not a snob again I, I hate name dropping but like when I had Josh Wolf here yeah we recorded an hour but I had him here for like two two and a half and that was like invaluable time because I just got to shoot the shit with two comics and just ask them things and when they t I talked to them they were just like yeah like visual like getting into like visual arts getting into like marketing knowing a brand getting all that stuff matters does matter um and the more all that the you things. can do that on your own the more you're not having to hire out hand out of pocket at the very beginning because you need all that stuff at this very beginning right. and that was vital information um i had uh what's his name eric eric Knowles. yes um he was at looney bin a couple weeks or a couple months ago and i had him on the show i saw it i saw yeah. that yeah and he gave me that advice he goes i wish i would have taken uh classes for more like visual aids and stuff like that because that would have really helped me and he's like that's the number one thing i give to new comics you need to get into like visual arts get into photoshop know how to do that stuff know how to make a good flyer stand out yes and that's kind of what i'm teaching people like you know not to throw names or anything, but, like, like trash people like that I'm, like build a brand like build yeah. yourself a name Absolutely. build your brand get you some merch eventually get you, even stickers like, you know those are like sticker mule websites like 19 stickers for a right. dollar throw those out there to the crowd just get your name out there anything anything it's 2024 like social media is very big you just got to use it the right way and right. just kind of use it as a tool it's, again it's another tool um i just i don't want to be in the same place in five years i want to be able to say that i've, I've grown and i've right. experienced there's another level Next, of this. yeah and not that i'm disparaging but like covid set back a lot of people sure and, but it also gave a lot of opportunities to other people so they're just kind of mix of people that were like in the scene before covid and I'm sure you know because you've been here for nine years. Yeah. And then like they were held, and then now they're coming out and blooming. And then there's this new crop, and it's kind of mixing, and yes. it's kind of inter. I it's, like it. It's it's weird. It's it's entertaining, it's exciting, and I think it's a perfect thing to like capture in Tulsa, like right now, like, like with this, the shows. Yeah, just, absolutely. Like Tulsa's in something right now. There's there's something that needs to be recorded. Like. Yeah, I mean, well, we did that um, Circle Cinema last year, or maybe it was earlier this. No, no it was last year. Um, where it was three days of comics for three hours. And I, I mean, my eyes were opened Yeah, to know how many comics had gone through the door those three days, at least yeah. 80 yeah. working comics in Tulsa. I mean, that's huge. Well, Rachel, uh, it's about that time of the show. No. Yes. Do you have any guest questions? Guest uh, questions. I just have your general questions because, okay. you know, we don't know each other very well. I mean, yeah. now we do. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. it was just break the ice questions. What is your sign? Cancer. I knew it. I, I actually fucking have, knew I have it. That tattooed right I here. saw that. I yeah. fucking knew it. I was like, we're we were destined to be friends. Yeah, I'm an Aquarius. Ah, yeah. So we're 
Age of Aquarius. 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 Did you see that? Harm- yeah. Harmonization? Yeah. Yeah. Let the sun shine. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, like that whole song. Uh, I love always, it. I love it. I always love the ending of 40 Year Old Virgin I do uh, too. when they sing that. When they're it's all dancing singing. around. Yeah. It's just so happy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, lo- I I honestly say the best shoots and the best movies are the ones where you tell that they're just genuinely having fun on set. Yes. You can yeah, see you it can in the tell. smiles and stuff. Like they're enjoying each other's company. Uh, it happens, like I know I brought up earlier, like everything's wrestling to me. It happens in wrestling too. You can tell when people actually have good chemistry. Yes. Um, and it works. And also, for strangely, it also prevents injuries in wrestling. Uh, yeah. Because their chemistry, does. they're they're blending together. They're not assholes to each other. Right. Uh. So yeah, even on movies and shit like that, just the chemistry works. Um. We'll see it in comedy sometimes. You'll yes. have good crews together, like a good. Where you put just together. kind of balance each other. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Like tonight, like, I, th- I honestly think that's a great episode. Like, I do too. Good. I'm having a really great time. I'm having a, f- I'm having a great time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, were you ready for question two? Oh, um, <laughs> what is your favorite color? Ooh, favorite color. It's but also, hard. name that movie. I don't know. No. I don't, the, what's your favorite color? Yeah, I don't know that. I don't. Know, I know what's your favorite scary movie, but like, no, you don't know where it's from. Uh, uh-uh. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Yep. I had chop on it. <laughs> I always remember the rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I should have done that. I should have done that. Oh, the, uh, the flesh wound and the the, 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 the come over here! I'll bite your bleeding head off. Nice to say, me, me. Me! Me! She hit me with a shrubbery. Shrubbery. <laughs> I, I just have that. I also like it, It's amazing that I took so long to come out as bi. I have just a naturally high pitched voice and feminine. Like, <laughs> like, just, I don't know. Like, I'll be kidding. Like, like, karaoke is singing like Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Yeah. So, like, I, I'll sing The Darkness. You remember The Darkness? Like, yes. I believe in a thing called love. Yes. Yeah. But also, like, my voice acting. I have a voice actor, uh, voice acting gigs on Fiverr. And I've, you do? Yeah. Uh, and I do like Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. Uh, like, oh boy! Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a very swell idea. Oh, John Jenkins, you you do that? Yeah. Oh, I uh, love that. I had a guy. So my first acting gig for voice acting was right at Christmas time, and it's like the most snooty thing, but it was also kind of cool. This guy from U- the UK bought his kids Disneyland tickets for Christmas. Yeah. And he wanted to have them call Mickey. To say welcome to Disneyland, we're coming to Disneyland in Germany. We're taking to Germany. He's from the UK. Yeah, and I got that to was do you. That. Yeah, so Your I got to, I got to be the kids' voicemail oh my as God. Mickey telling them they're going to Disneyland. Did they just lose it? Yeah, I didn't get to hear their response, oh. but like, I got to pre-record and they played it for me. Oh God, but how fun is that? Yeah, uh, but like that kind of shit makes my day because I was like, that was awesome. Like that I was... made a kids' Christmas, a kids' Christmas, and yeah, I got paid for it and stuff. But like, it's also a gig. But it's just like that. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. It's fun to do stuff like that, but I also have this like mimic thing where like if I hear it for enough, I can kind of just pick you can up on it. Kind of do it. It's very sketchy and hard to control sometimes, yeah. especially if I'm high. Yeah, I have to watch myself at Chinese restaurants. Oh God! I'll just morph into it. I do not I mean to. I think I do too. Uh, I'll just start not saying ours. Like, there's, there's a. Um, I've grown up. And there's this place called Szechuan. It's a local Chinese restaurant in Bartlesville. Um, every time we were sick, my mom would always get me egg drop soup from them. Like I yeah. just grew up with them. And the, the owner, her name is Amy. Yeah. And she's very thick Chinese accent, very thick. And like you call it, it's like, <laughs> like that's how she talks. <laughs> and like you kind of can decipher it because you just know her for so long. You kind of pick up on the secondhand language of it, yes. you know. But like as we talk on the phone, I'll do an order, and if the order is long, I have to be careful. I'll start morphing into it, <laughs> and that. And they take a head and find my eyes. Yeah. And I told, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. God damn it. And, like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not trying to mock. I'm not. I don't even notice I'm doing it. But also, I think it's a term of endearment yeah. as well. And because I th- I feel like I do that too. It's just a thing I do. I, yeah. um, I'm very great at impressions with songs. If it's in a sing song kind of thing, I can pick them on it quick. Um, some impressions I struggle with, but a lot of singing ones I can do. Like I can't really do like a lot of like South Park impressions. Yeah. But I can do like Mr. Mackey singing in K. Like <laughs> there are times that you get suckered in <laughs> drugs and alcohol and sex with women. Okay. <laughs> but when you get to think too much, yeah, it, it just 
I could sing with them and do the whole. It can stay. Yeah. It can stay there. Or like, that uh, would be hard. like Herbert the pervert from Family Guy, where yeah. it's like, uh, where it's like, uh, got some popsicles in the shower. Like, <laughs> but what he does, like, <laughs> now I had the time of my life. Never shall be for. Like, I, I, I keep it going. Like, you know, if it's in theme, <laughs> I just kind of go with it, and it's just something the way my brain does. That, I don't know. It just, I uh, love it. Yeah. Though. So, yeah. I wish I could. Um, I have it's a <laughs> one. I have a lot of different impressions, but they all sound Russian. It makes drive throughs fun. So <laughs> they all sound Russian. <laughs> yeah. So they're homophobic. Do you, do you want fortune? Yeah. <laughs> That's the best it gets. We get moose. <laughs> we get moose, and you want fortune? I know. You want fortune? <laughs> <laughs> but also, if you you say, "What's your?" Mexican impression. You unfortunate. <laughs> you unfortunate. I know. No, we but just went, we went to La Fortune Park in Tulsa. <laughs> <laughs> it's named after a bigot. Bigot. <laughs> I don't know. He probably is. He's white. Um, his last name's La Fortune. <laughs> the end. And it's probably a white dude named La Fortune. <laughs> How much more? L A W. It's not progressive. It's regressive. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I have so much fun with this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's like when I went to fucking, uh, I worked at AT&T once, and uh, they put us in training in St. Louis. And every weekend we'd fly to, tra- like one weekend a month, we'd fly to St. Louis to do this training. Yeah. And we would go to this Red Lobster by the St. Louis airport. And it's like 2012. First time I went, I went with another white employee, and we just went there and had it, and it was, it was Red Lobster. Right. We're getting part DM. We don't fucking care. Mm-hmm. Next time I we went, we went with one black employee. So it was three, two, me, a white woman, and a black woman. You would have thought it was like World War Three. They know what the fuck to do. Then we found out basically this was a segregated Red Lobster. Huh? Yeah. In 2012. In 2012, they had a white room and a black stop room. Stop it! I'm not shitting it. you. We went there. So like when you walked in, like it was one of those things where like you walk in and like the bar area is the front. Yeah. And then the back room, like the day room, was a separate section. Yeah. And that's where all the whites were. And then the black people were sitting around the bar area and had a black staff. And then the white what? staff. Yes. Yes. And this is where? This was the Red Lobster next to the St. Louis airport in 2012. That so sounds we, so we, like, I don't, my we, brain doesn't even bend like. We were sitting there. We were like, it's not busy. We're like, why are we getting seated for a while? And they're like, we can see them and kind of talk. And we're like, put kind of two and together. And like the other white girl texts me. And she's like, are, are you picking up on this? And I'm like, what? And she's like, look. And I'm like. Oh my god! Like it just like kind of clicks with you, and so we hit eat our meal, and then the best part I was like, "Food's delicious because it's cooked by Mexicans." Because <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense, yeah, right? Yeah, that's where the world turns yeah. all the way around. I mean, that's yeah. why I say I'm bisexual. I wish more white people swallowed, so they know how to season their food better. <laughs> I just swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> we proved that on unloading meat. <laughs> unloading meat. Yeah. Everybody was. I was nervous to come because I thought I was going into the nervous human to come? zoo. Ha. Nervous to come. Ha. Uh. <laughs> Ping pong. That's it. That's where it was. That's the sound I make when I come. Um. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> it's quick. Um. <laughs> Ten seconds. Yeah. Ten seconds. Hey, two minutes in heaven is better than one minute in heaven. <laughs> 30 seconds is 30 yeah. seconds. Hey, it takes 30 seconds to go to Mars, apparently. <laughs> That's what Jared Little says. That's what he said. Yeah. That's what he, he said. He was the Joker. <laughs> Not the good one. Not the good one. But a Joker. A. <laughs> yeah. Like a card. Mm-hmm. The one you throw away when you're playing a real game. They're not needed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants them. <laughs> Did you know he like gave dead rats to the people on Suicide Squad? He, like, I'm like, sorry, what? Like, he, like to get into character as the Joker, you know, the antagonist against the Suicide Squad. Uh-huh. He like mailed dead rats to the rest of the co-stars on set, like had them in their, their dressing rooms and stuff like that, just to like prank them. Can't you just get into character in your trailer like everybody else? But you know, he's- If I got a rat in the mail from Jared Leto, I'd- I don't know what I would do. Like, I you would, better I would come be on the, it so I can at least, like, you know, do something with it. Like, be in the corner being like, somebody wants to kill me. Yeah. Somebody does. Like, and I don't a, know who. It's this lucky rabbit's foot. It's ra- lucky rat. Just lucky rat. <laughs> in general. <laughs> just, just a everybody whole rat. just got him, like, what do, you, what do you do with a rat? Like a rabbit's foot, is it? Is it that taxidermy? I don't know. You're a lady. I thought you just used it on your clit. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, it is soft. Yeah. That's what I always thought. I always just like as a teenager, I was like, a ch- ch- "You just have a rat that Jared Leto gave you, like taxidermied on your keychain." Yeah, better than a possum. Yeah. Also. Yeah. 
not as heavy. You can hang a possum. You know why? Because it already has an O to hang it on. That was bad. Does I know. It stay. Well, it's an O possum. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let me see your O. It's crazy that I'm single. Let me single. see your O. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this episode's great. Oh my god. Let's I'm go so on OnlyFans. <laughs> Perfect. I have a can a Karen's only page. Nice. Yeah. I don't know what a Karen's only is. Well, it's like uh only fans, but only Karens. Oh. So I'm trying to make money by keeping all my clothes on and telling you how to do things right. Nice. Yeah. Me and Katie Style have the idea on her episode of doing only flan. Oh. Because we're fat. <laughs> but are you going to make flan? I mean, I'll eat it. It'll be like a uh, it'll be like a food porn one. Oh. Yeah, maybe I'll stomp my feet in it. Yeah. Do yeah. oh. some ASMR into it. <laughs> maybe I can get a number one single like Billie Eilish. <laughs> Unloading meat. <laughs> snort made it priceless. You can't whisper a snort. <laughs> you can't whisper a snort. <laughs> That's the name of the episode. You can't whisper a snort. <laughs> Get this thing away from me. <laughs> well, did you have another question? <laughs> I can go back. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, that's the chloroform in your drink. <laughs> Thank you. It's my favorite drug. <laughs> it's the Cosby special. <laughs> Do you smell that? <laughs> the, the, no. the pudding pops. Do you want fortune? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. She do. <laughs> your fortune is is you're going to stay a while. She's dying. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, like, do you ever watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Oh, I love that show, but I never get to watch it because I'm always God. watching YouTube with my kids. The the, the 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 flashback to when Frank was like back in like the 50s or 60s, and he like was dating this black like uh, singer, and her name was Shadynasty. Yeah. <laughs> Shadynasty. <laughs> Shadynasty. You just have to say it that way, or it doesn't Rom count. Ram. <laughs> It's like it's like I think of like Brian Dixon. You know Brian Dixon. Yes. I always say he sounds like Foghorn and Leghorn, like if you fuck Cartman. Like, <laughs> I say, I say, I like, say. Tell me about them white people. I'm like, <laughs> I say, you God know, dang. God dang. What does he say? You know, oh. God dang. Like, God dang. God dang. Yeah. Uh, something, <laughs> something, something racist. Like um, <laughs> dude, like, then he had that gun. Drawn. Oh my God, yeah. that's what it by is. God. By God. By God. Oh my God. My favorite joke for him, I always said that like he looks like one of those guys that was putting all those Biden stickers on the gas pumps. Like I did that, and then like two months later, he's regretting it because the gas prices are low as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, is this gas? <laughs> we don't know. Don't know. We don't know anymore. I don't know. It's cheap as shit though. It's cheap as shit <laughs> yeah. though. It's gonna get us halfway to where we're going. Unlike this but head of lettuce that sent us thirteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it was picked by a Guatemalan child four days ago. <laughs> he's trying to get over the border. It's okay. We got a cage for him. It's fine. <laughs> Kamala's on it. It's fine. Yeah. Just a dog crate will do. <laughs> but you know, it has one of those water things like the hamsters oh, get. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We're progressive now oh. on the border. <laughs> yeah. For Look like at the, us. Look at us. For the three miles that we actually built a fence. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> no. there, yeah. You know the best you thing about You don't have the, to worry about it. You know the best thing about here. the wall? Like, I went down there. There's actually a wall. Is there? Like, there's a pretty good wall for a pretty good chunk of it. Is there? Yeah. Like, that's a pretty good border. You just went there? You just yeah. was like, I'm going to go to the wall, and I hope Cartel doesn't use me as a, a coyote? drug mule? Well, I'll be a coyote, bitch. I want to be a mule. <laughs> I'm too old. I'm not, you're, oh, you're the one that- I'm not old enough to be Clint Eastwood. Does the, the drug gum- No, I'm not going to monologue an empty chair for 13 minutes. <laughs> uh, I thought maybe it's an excuse. Uh, 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 oh, you, what do you mean, shut up? My references go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing when I'm single. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. It's also because I don't I have time for bitches. It's just I don't have time for it. It's like, well, I will say now that I'm by, ladies, you got to step it up. The grinder side, it's very convenient. Yeah. Well, when they're when all you can see is hammercock, 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 yeah. and we don't even know who's hammercock it is. Well, not only that, but like, I get with you with ladies. I know like dick pics don't work. Like no. you just they don't work. Well, but for men, they kind of do. We're visual. 
Well, that's true. They're I can very see visual. that. Like, like honestly, like, do- like Grinder is like the DoorDash of getting dick. Yeah. You could say I'm Uber eating. Um, Ew. Yeah, that's my jag. Yeah. yeah. Hi, heyo. <laughs> Uber eats. You're welcome. But uh, no, like you can literally be on there in like five minutes. I can get dick. Like just literally be like, boom. And it's like, hey, what are you doing? Free, done, free. And, done. and it's like, compare, compare. Cool. What are you into? Done, done. Cool. Done, done. Done. Five. five. It's, yeah. Well, because men are very transactional. Men can, yeah. by nature compartmentalize. They can compartmentalize. I want yeah. sex. Sex done. Click check mark done. And it like when you're going to very like gay couples stuff like that, it's it can turn into that. That's the part they don't really tell you about. Like, you know, when you see like gay men like Will and Grace and all that stuff as a flamboyant and stuff right. like that, they don't really get into that part of no, it. No, they don't. The and transact- I wouldn't have actually thought about that until. Just, you just said that. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Ladies, think of every bad thing you've ever had with every straight male you've dated. Now, imagine he's fucking another version of himself. Funny. But also, like, I get it. Yeah, they have the same needs and wants, and now yeah. there's an app that's convenient that can immediately get them dick or whatever yeah. they want. And it's kind of going into that social media thing of, like, that instant gratification yeah. thing, too. Yeah. And it's like... Okay. Okay, but also it doesn't teach them anything for no. if they want to swing back this way. No. no, we don't go that. No, we don't. We require so much more. Oh, I know. I um. You got to preheat the oven. Yeah. 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 You got to read me a romance novel. But yeah. anyway, not the uh, Fabio ones. N- not them. Yeah. But mo- the other ones are are fine. They're <laughs> he, okay. He, They'll do. They'll do. I can't believe it's not butter version. <laughs> yeah. But but don't please don't talk. Yeah. But, we talked about that. Please don't talk. What was it about Fabio? Because he kind of looked like, just looked like he a, doesn't. He's not attractive. To me, it was like the he's girls that were in the dude. the girls that were in the Fabio were the girls that want to secretly fuck horses. I mean, you're not wrong. Like those girls that you're just have wrong. that horse fetish that yeah. you know they like, are into really into horses. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I'm mean, gonna yeah. go back to the vibrations. Like, boys are so dumb. Oh my god! It took me so long to realize why so many like teenage girls and girls love fucking horses, and I was just like, why? But now we know. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. like, it's Bashira. And then, yeah. It's on four <laughs> legs. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, but, people, like, I had so many, like, friends talk about, like, how they busted their hymen, like, riding horses and stuff like that. Like, or bikes. Yeah, or bikes or anything like that. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. yeah. I see that now. Yeah. Yeah. You get yourself. Well, I've been off the market for a long time, and I got my first dick pic ever. Really? Yeah. The other day. Do I you asked, I asked for a cock fax, so I asked for it. <laughs> but... But I also, Cock facts. <laughs> but all because I was like, I need to vet <laughs> how to date because I I kissed a lot of frog dicks before and like I don't <laughs> I like I don't want to go that direction this yeah. time around yeah and so I'm like I just need to figure out how to like cut the time in half yeah to find a good one step one if you can paint my number on his dick the spots done yeah we're done yeah and um and so I was like oh a cock facts like I'm gonna need to know like who your previous owners were and like. <laughs> Have you been flooded, wrecked? Like how many miles? Do you have? All the things. And so, my precious baby self was expecting uh, like a written report, like a Carfax. Yeah. You know, it's like here's all the things wrong with it. Yeah. But um, no, I got a dick pic instead, and so I was very like, oh, I didn't, I didn't it's realize that was gonna be. I thought you were, you were literally gonna give me a report. <laughs> I. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, like we ha- we have the same thing with your oh. with your sex. I mean, honestly, I know to stay away anytime I see a, a really tight choker necklace. <laughs> <laughs> or do you? What? Facts. <laughs> she just means a dad. She has a daddy. She has one, but she also wants to call somebody a daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, I always remember like you remember Love Line back in the day. Yes. Like I was a kid that loved Love Line back in the day. Like one hundred four point five used to play it like I, like late night. Like Love Line for those that don't know was Doctor Drew Pinsky before he was. Dr. Dr. Drew. Drew, he was just the doctor. Yeah, and Adam Carolla, like right at the height of like Man Show and everything, when he was just big, and starting to be his career. Yeah, and they would help and give sexual advice late night to anybody that called in, and it was broadcast nationally every night. Yes, and it helped thousands of people. And like it was before the internet, really. Yes. A lot of times, it went on for like fifteen years. Yeah. And uh, I called in one time. I, got I think I did too. I called in one time and like, I remember I said, I, I love you, Adam. He goes, I love your penis. <laughs> and I was like, ah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, never did get all that come out. Um, <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> no, uh, but uh, no, Love Line was important. They would tell you back in the day. Well, I don't even know how we got on the subject of Love Line. But, uh, <laughs> well, 
we've just been rolling. Yeah, we've just yeah. been rolling. Yeah. Like me just down a hill. Just going with it. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going with it. I fall off the bed and just roll. I feel like, yeah, yeah it's yeah. going good. It's going good. I mean, we started again after your commercial. We're already going another 35 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Wonder Twin Powers activate. <laughs> uh, fucking white people. <laughs> Bruh. I just swallowed. <laughs> Again. We confirmed it here on a lonely meat. Uh, we both swallow. Uh, uh, save the environment. I don't know. <laughs> something. Well, I'm We're saving the- something. Seed. <laughs> children. We're saving children. We're saving the children. That was the best insult. So my very first episode, I didn't have any comments. That's like a make a wish. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a reverse make a wish. Ish. 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 Jism. Um, um, <laughs> it's a jism. Um, jism. Uh, my first guest is my, well, my, the first episode of the show, I didn't have any comedians to book yet. Yeah. So I booked my, one well, of my best friends growing up, his name is AJ. And he has this best story where he got into a fight with his mom once. And she said, you know what? I should have just swallowed you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't never know if that's forget the that. Best thing or the worst thing that's I've the, ever heard. I, well, it shook him. <laughs> it's stuck. He's in therapy now. It's fine. Just like it's the jism and her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like that video we watched of the chicken nugget in the ranch in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that was her. She was the ranch pocket. <laughs> Natasha Leone in the ranch pocket. Woo! That's the title of the episode. <laughs> We're gone. We've gone through several titles. They're Nata- all Natasha wonderful. How do we? Natasha Leone's Ranch Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Ba-boom. Ba-boom. <laughs> Swampy Ranch Pocket. <laughs> Ayo. A little bit of the bubbly. Oh, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's another wrestling. I actually have the champagne bottle wrestling figure for that. that right okay. there. Like right behind your coat. See the little, sh- like underneath that shelf. See the little champagne bottle? Uh-uh. It's back there on that shelf. It's oh, like shit. gold. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. There's a wrestler named Chris Jericho, and he won the world title. And just ad libbing back there, they had the camera going, and he was like going down catering, <gasps> and he's just ad libbing, just riffing because he won the world title. He's all sweaty and stuff, yeah. and he just looks and he sees champagne, and he goes, "Oh, a little bit of the bubbly," a little bit of and it the became bubbly. his meme. And it became ringtones. It became everything, and it just that's a fucking action figure, and it has a figure of him holding that's- that bubble, the bubbly. Oh. Awesome. And then he even launched his own champagne called A Little Bit of the Bubbly. Of course. Like it would Why become wouldn't the, you? It became this whole thing. And I just, yeah, I just. I want oh, my own champagne. A little bit of the bubbly. Bubbly. Um, you know the Try Guys? Have you heard of them? Mm, are they wrestling? No, they're uh, YouTube guys. No. Um, they were on BuzzFeed a long time oh, ago. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they were famous because the fourth one was the, the quote unquote husband guy. Because every one, YouTube's personality has a quirky <laughs> personality. Yeah. And the husband guy was caught cheating with a assistant at the Try Guys. Who knew? Yeah. Who knew? His entire brand was the dad, the husband dad. He was the of white course. dad of the brand. And he was the one that was a cheater. Fucking around. Yeah. Of course. So they, they did an episode. It tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was either the end of the year or January, they did an episode. It was like they tried every single celebrity endorsed alcohol. And I didn't realize how many there are. There was like five hundred. Were they hammered? They were. They were sitting, sipping, and spitting. And they were, and sometimes they were getting hammered too because they were like, "This is really I mean, good." You can't, yeah. But they divided it by like gin, you know, uh, tequila. They had all the different things. Yeah. They took breaks, but like, yeah, there, it was like an hour and a half video, and it was like there's so many like Walton Goggins from Justified, the bad guy from the show Justified, has a fucking gin. Why? Who knew? Yeah, I had no idea. I didn't know. Like, is it good? Would we know? They said it was really like burn, like kind of woody. I don't know. I love gin. Yeah. Um. The Rocks Terramana tequila is really good. Okay. It's delicious. I lo- okay. I'm a tequila guy. I'm a tequila and vodka guy. I like gin and vodka. I like gin. Um, I mean, not vodka, but tequila. Yeah. That's what I meant. Well, mostly because like I gave up soda like two years ago. Yeah. Like I, honestly, like I've lost a little bit. I lost 50 pounds just by giving up soda. I believe that. Just and I don't miss it. Yeah. I drink water, and if I need caffeine, I'll drink like a zero sugar monster. Yeah. Um. But that's really all I do, and so. If you don't drink sodas and stuff or anything like dark, it's not a lot of stuff to mix with, with like a, 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 a Crown Royal or something right. like that, or whiskey. And so, like, I drink it straight. I'll drink whiskey Same. straight. Yeah. If I'm in the mood for it. Like, I'll have some, like, whiskey stones. I have my whiskey stones in there. I'll pour yeah. some whiskey and just have a nice I glass. I love whiskey. But if you want to mix drinks or something like that, you're kind of limited. So that's why I started switching to more clears, because I can do it with juice or something like that. I love screwdrivers. Mm. I love tequila sunrises, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I'm like, there's a lot more variety for me when I'm trying to be a little bit better with no soda. Yes. Uh, and also Sonic is just the the, the hack. Well, we grew up in Sonic. We yeah. grew up in Sonic. And we know how to With get alcohol. All the different yeah. drinks. Yeah. What's your What's your Sonic alcohol combo? 
Like if you had to get a song, for those that don't know in the in area in like Oklahoma and stuff, there's Sonics everywhere. And the staple is you just buy whatever drink you want, and then you pour some alcohol in right. it. Right. I I always love the Dr. Pepper vanilla cherry. Mm. Mm. But ocean water is always ocean a thing. Jam. Yeah. They tried, like, have you seen those, like, uh, like the White Claw spinoffs of Sonic? Like the Sonic branded They're ones? They're awful. They're awful. They taste like sunscreen. Yeah, they taste horrible. Oh. And, like, it's such a but good idea. I was idea. so excited. Me too. Because uh. it's like cherry lime made and ocean water flavored seltzers. I'm like, that's marketing that's genius. That's my jam. If they tasted good, I would buy them every, every day. Mm-hmm. But they're ass they're like, awful yeah it's like you're drinking bleach but not the good kind right or sunscreen <laughs> yeah the sunscreen. and you're not getting any protection you're not even getting to jerk off that little <laughs> toddler on the outside <laughs> no not at all don't use sunscreen as lube <laughs> don't but i mean you are going to be protected from uv yeah case. you'll also be your virginity will, will be well protected also <laughs> <laughs> it'll be completely sealed intact <laughs> give it to your son <laughs> <laughs> the end yeah <laughs> <laughs> it'd, it'd be like one of those videos online where like can we deep fry this by covering it in butter or something yes. like, case it. Like, done yeah I don't know somewhere there's a condom joke in there with butter I don't know smooth like butter it's a BTS joke smooth like butter Ugh. yeah yeah uh, uh, ranch pocket uh, <laughs> you fucking mark <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, what else would you like to talk about? On I don't know. Episode? Have you uh, have you ever burned any of your exes? Old shit. Is there anything left to burn? Yes, I have burned. Um, there, <laughs> yeah. So I have a fire pit in my backyard. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there was like there's a I have a shed back there, and there was shit from both exes. And like after like a year or so, like you kind of want to go through it. Like, there's some times where it's like it's out of sight. I don't mind on dealing mm-hmm. with it. So then I was like, okay, I kind of want to go through this and kind of just clean out shit. And I'm like, you want it? And she's like, I don't have I don't have time for it. I don't have to get it. I was like, okay. Lighting the fire pit up. Boom. Just throw it in there. Yeah. Throw it in there. And it's so medicinal. It's so. It is. It really is. Oh, it feels great. It does. Oh, you know, it's been a few years. <laughs> we can share. Yeah. We can share him. What do you say? What do you say? Oh. He knows. Yes, daddy. Boom. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'm never actually... be able to hear that music <laughs> any other way again. I watched that. Uh, that was like the best concert I ever had at a BOK. Weezer was a BOK. Really? Yeah. And they sang Pink Triangle and half the audience didn't know what the fuck it was talking about. And I was like, that's great. That's yeah. awesome. It's talking about pussy, everybody. Um, right. Lesbian pussy. Lesbian pussy. Yeah. Um, let's see. My favorite concert was Yes. Mm. It was a decade ago. And As they were pu- all in their orthopedic shoes and they... <laughs> Fucking rocked their asses off. You, yes, as opposed to uh, uh, Usher when we were talking about, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Rachel, this has been fun. We're, oh my god, I've had a blast! I've had a blast. I've uh, had we're going so much on almost fun. three hours now. So we, I think we went, Shoot, we went <laughs> that went fast. I thought, oh shit, it's going to be like two thirty. Well, let me ask you this: uh, Where can everybody find the great Rachel Keeley if they want to book the great Rachel Keeley? Oh, eighty six Rachel Keeley. Ooh, Rachel eighty six Rachel Keeley. Yeah, nice on Instagram, Thanks. everything. Instagram, I'm nice. on all the things. Well, thank you so much for coming on. This has thank been a you. blast. Uh, please go out, book Rachel Keeley, eighty six Rachel Keeley, or eighty six Keeley, right? 86 Keeley, what? yeah. I'm high, yeah, and fat, yeah. It's not, St- don't be obesist. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I'm Jared Ralphie Allen. That's Rachel Keeley. Boom. This has been Unloading Meat. Peace, guys. Bye. Have a great time.